Hi there, my name is John Stevens. I'm pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA. And welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where I take a look at the lectionary text and I time to an item from either the Dollar Tree or the kids' room or the junk drawer or the garage, you know. Uh, but we continue to press on and we, uh, we are worshiping in the sanctuary, masked and online. So we're doing that hybrid, both and. And so we continue to walk and uh, stay safe. And sadly, we keep seeing numbers rise and our ICUs are full. So we continue to keep that in prayer and we continue to remember that we are in the midst of a pandemic. And so um, I keep you in prayer. I ask that you would keep us in prayer as we walk and we keep our neighbors, uh, the vulnerable ones in our hearts, our prayers and our action as we mask up and as we uh, treat one another as Christ would want us to treat each other. Love the neighbor as thyself, as God says, thy. I don't, you know, we, we, we throw, love your neighbor as yourself. So uh, this is for the 19th Sunday after Pentecost, and we're in October. Yeah, wow. Um, we're getting some rain here, thank God, and uh, we, um, we pray for firefighters across the nation and the world as, um, as we see these, uh, what seems to be a, uh, a recurring um, theme as we look at uh, our world. So uh, we could go on a whole conversation about that, but we're going to talk about the children's sermon. And we're looking at, uh, I'm looking at Hebrews chapter 1 through, uh, it's the beginning parts of chapter 1 and, uh, and verses 5 to 12 in chapter 2. Two. And so some of the, the springboard, some of the I, items I'm looking at using is like uh, pencil and paper. Um, I've got these written down because I, so um, a, a pencil and paper, uh, headphones, um, a, what I call the doot-de-doo, you know, the little doot-de-doo uh, where you want to make an announcement about something happening, um, or the game of telephone. You remember that game, that game where, where one whispers something and, um, you know, especially it's a, especially fun to play with masks uh, on because masks, talking with a mask is almost like an entire game of telephone. What was that? I'm sorry, I, I didn't make that out. What? Huh? And, um, but it's all about... Um, communicating. It's about how God has communicated with us. In, Hebrew, in the book of Hebrews, we have uh, God's, you know, in the, in the former times, but in, in the past, God spoke through the prophets. And now God speaks to us through the Son. God speaks to us through Jesus. God speaks to us through the Christ. And, and so this idea of um, ways that we have communicated in the past. You know, oh, it used to be, it could be like, you know, when I was a kid, now this, uh, this could date you, um, but you know when, when I was a kid, passing, you know, sending a text in class was one of those times where you wrote a note and you folded it like a football. You know, those so football is a square where you k- kick it out, and um, that was a, a way of sending text. So in the former days, in the days of past, when um. When the ring was formed and we walked to Mordor. Anyway, so we have um, the so the ways we communicated in the past, and then using that to talk about. And in Hebrews, they talked. You know, God used the prophets in the past, but but then God used uh, God's self. God came uh, in the Christ, and uh, and you know, and that and that whole connection. And then so, how important it is for us to come back to the words of Jesus, to come back to um, the promise of the cross, come back to uh, the empty tomb, come back to uh, that promise of grace that God holds us and God speaks to us through the risen Christ. And that's good news. So there's some, th- you know, so definitely some theological language in there that I, um, that I wouldn't use word for word. But it's that's the the springboard is the game of telephone um, and maybe the you know a note and a text um, and all of that For maybe you know it's like you know when I was a kid or when I was in high school we had this thing called the BBS a bulletin board system where we had to call in 
that's my uh, version of a uh, of a modem uh, using <laughs> connecting and i won't even do the bang 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 we had that and now you have uh instagram and TikTok and other social media aspects of about how we communicate with one another anyway you, you get the point springboard over springboard over springboard so Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope this can be useful in the crafting of your own children's sermon as you uh, uh, work to speak to your kids and your families. And please know that they appreciate the work you are doing so much. And, you know, in the midst of the pandemic, we're still in the midst of it, but at the beginning, it was really difficult. And I kept thinking, oh, when we, if we, get, back, when we get back together, it, it'll be less difficult. It's still difficult, but just in a different way. I mean, trying to balance or trying to figure out or, or trying to work with our people where we've got one fo folks on one, I literally on one side and then on the other. And so know that you are in my prayers. Blessings be on you and may God hold you in God's grace. And uh, may you be reminded that you are loved, my friends. All right, we'll see you next week. And thanks for stopping by. Peace.